Hi Libra, welcome to the channel. If you are new here, a very warm welcome to you. And if you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. So cross watchers, you are also very welcome here. With all that being said, let's begin with your reading. So Libra, I hope you are all doing really, really well. Okay, we've got one that's just flown out. Let me get that one. We've got the Six of Cups. Let's just get that off. The Six of Cups. So I'm going to take that one for you. Right. Let's just give it a couple more shuffles. So the Six of Cups is all about the past. This could be a past love. This could be, you know, that sort of childhood sweetheart type of love. This could be family, something from your roots, from your past. Okay, so let's see what we've got for you. Oh, okay. Right. Bottom of the deck, you've got the Knight of Coins. Okay, so let's see what's going on here for you guys. Right, so the Six of Cups I spoke about. Now the Nine of Wands covering it is the Wounded Warrior. You might be feeling quite defensive at this time. You've got your guard up here. And you're feeling wounded by something. This could be a physical wound, but this could be something from your past that's resurfaced that you've got your guard up against. Something that wounded you in the past. Perhaps a family matter or an old love affair. And also, how are you seeing this situation, this thing from the past, whether it is, you know, perhaps somebody is coming back or you are offering something to someone from your past. And somebody's got their defenses up. They're not kind of letting the other person in. Okay. And you feeling pretty left out in the cold. So maybe you are offering something to someone from your past. And they've got their guard up. They're not letting you in at all. They're feeling defensive, perhaps they're feeling wounded by something that happened between you guys. Because this is the card of feeling left out in the cold. So this could also be some form of financial loss that it had to do with. Or just feeling like you left out in the cold. Because somebody here has got their guard up, they're not letting you in. Okay. So what is the next step that you're going to take? You're going to... Well, we've got the Hierophant in that position. So you might want to conform to something. Something traditional, you know, seeing as this is something from the past. Your next step might be to conform to something. You might even propose marriage to someone here if it's a love relationship. But if it's not a love relationship, then... You might just be wanting to conform to the rules and traditions of a family situation or something that was from your past. Because your goal is the chariot, which is victory. Or going somewhere, or leaving somewhere. I hope you can see that card. You know, it might be a physical journey that you're wanting to take either back to the past or away from the situation. For some of you, you may not want to be held to this conformity. You may not want to conform. You'll have to see how it fits into your situation. 
but for some of you in order to come in you know back in you know because he's outside a church here or these two figures are outside a church and that is the pope really the priest so maybe you're leaving because you don't want to conform to the rules and traditions you may want to leave a situation but you're wanting victory but as i say this might be travel you might need to travel somewhere here so what you've got going for you is death this is a complete ending to something and it's something that you've got going for you so perhaps putting a complete end to the situation is going to be the best thing for you because what's coming in for you is the king of cups now this could be a love partner coming in for you this could be you opening your heart to someone you might need to leave someone from the past in order you might need to end something from the past in order to propose marriage to someone or to commit you know it doesn't have to be marriage or commit in some way to someone but this is someone who is very emotionally together he's emotionally intelligent and he is a very romantic type of guy he's the king of the emotions of the love okay when is this going to happen? There's something here. When is this going to happen? You've got the King of Swords. So I think there's a conversation that needs to be had. Quite a serious conversation with someone. Now, this could be this person from the past. This is an old love in your life that you're needing to end completely. Perhaps have this conversation with to end it. Because this is a very serious conversation that brings about transformation. And there we see the butterfly in both of these cards, these dark cards. So I'm seeing this as you needing to end. You need a conversation where you end something. And I've got a feeling it's this relationship from the past that you are needing to end. That you're feeling left out in the cold about. It looks like new love is coming in for you here with the King of Cups. So what is the purpose of all of this? The purpose of all of this, the purpose of cutting this old thing off. That's what I'm seeing. There's something that has to be ended completely. This old thing has to be ended so that you can heal from it. This is all about healing, rest, recuperation. If it is a physical wound, you need to get rest and heal from it. But if it's something... A relationship that needs to end because you need to heal from it but it's not going to happen until something ends completely and a conversation is had about this being cut off completely because your outcome is gorgeous it's the king of cups and the nine of cups so the nine of cups is wish fulfillment and the King of Cups is, you know, it could be a romantic partner. So I would also just be careful of two overdoing celebrations, drinking, because with the King of Cups and the Nine of Cups there, there's a lot of cups of wine. Okay. We are in that season of celebrating things. So I would be very careful of that. But otherwise, this is perhaps new love coming into your life that's going to be wish fulfillment. But it can't come in until this is cut off. Something is cut off completely. And the Knight of Coins is an offer coming in for you. All right, Libra. So I hope this is making some sense to you. Please do leave me a comment if it is. Don't forget to hit the like button. And I'm going to take an Atlantis card now for you. Let's see what else we can get, yeah? Libra, please.
just looks like here you want to move on from something. Something has to be ended and it's something from your past. Because what's coming in for you looks lovely. It looks like wish fulfillment. And perhaps in the romance department. Okay. Presence. All right. Presence. So live in the now. Your guidance is to be fully present emotionally as well as physically for yourself and for others today the past is gone oh wow this is perfect and churning about it is wasted energy the future is yet to be written for you the, sorry the future is yet to be written for you manifest it with your current thoughts make sure your mind focus is positive and constructive remain aware at all times so, I mean, that says it all. Don't go back to the past. It's gone. Something needs to be cut off completely from the past in order for you to find this wish fulfillment. You're not going to get to it if you stay in this lack mindset or this, you know, feeling left out in the cold business and churning about the past. It's gone already. So, let's just take one more card from you from our crystal deck. Just a little affirmation for you to take with you. Sunstone. I am light. Okay, so that's a beautiful one to end off with. Don't sit in this darkness. Don't sit in this kind of coldness. Uh, remember that you are light. Go out into the sunshine if you live in a country where the sun is shining. And otherwise, just be that light. And, you know, this is what this King of Cups does as well. Okay, so that is your message, Libra. I hope it made some sense to you. I wish you all well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.